Today we will see how to evaluate the integral 1 over square root 6x minus x squared dx. Please note that this is an extension of our discussion yesterday. Yesterday we saw how to evaluate the integrals of the form square root ax squared plus bx plus c dx. Well, we classified this integral into four cases based on whether the discriminant delta which is b squared minus 4ac is positive, negative or equal to zero along with whether the coefficient of x squared a is positive or negative. And also during that same video itself I mentioned that the substitution selected for each of those four cases for this integral square root ax squared plus bx plus c dx will exactly be the same substitutions needed even if I have to evaluate the integrals of the form 1 over square root ax squared plus bx plus c dx. However, in that video, I didn't discuss any examples from this second form of integrals. So for the rest of this week, I'm planning to discuss a couple of selected examples from this second form of integrals integrals of the form 1 over square root a x squared plus b x plus c dx but please note that i will not revisit all of those methods in these example discussions so you are expected to know the methods basically the four methods that we discussed in our last video for those who have not yet watched that video i'll have the link posted down below in the description please make sure to check that link and please make sure that you know all the methods required to correctly evaluate the integral square root a x squared plus b x plus c dx if you know all the methods for that integral you'll be in a very good shape to understand these example videos all right back to discussion First of all, we have to identify to which category does this integral belong. By looking at 6x minus x squared and by comparing it with ax squared plus bx plus c, we can identify that a is equal to negative 1, b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 0. So the next step is to find delta. Delta is equal to b squared minus 4 a c b squared is equal to 6 squared which is 36 minus 4 a is equal to negative 1 and times c where c is equal to 0 so this second term is going to be equal to 0 therefore this is equal to 36 that means your delta is positive so if your delta is positive there are two possible cases one is when a is also positive the other one is when a is negative in fact, for this example, we know that a is equal to negative 1, which means a is negative. So for this combination, where delta is greater than 0 and a is less than 0, we have a standard substitution. We said we are going to use a substitution using sine theta. However, we know that before selecting the substitution, we must first complete the square for the quadratic form inside of the square root. So let's go ahead and do that first. So the question we have is evaluate the integral 1 over square root 6x minus x squared dx. In order to complete the square, we know we write this as integration 1 over square root. We would like to have a positive coefficient for the x squared term. Therefore, we factor out a negative symbol, negative 1. Open brackets and then we have x squared minus 6x close brackets complete the square root and we have a dx outside in the next line we are going to write equal integral 1 over square root we have a negative symbol and inside brackets we can complete the square if you complete square it's going to be x minus 3 everything squared minus 9 that 9 can be written as minus 3 squared close brackets complete the square root and write down the dx term and after that we can distribute this negative symbol into each of these two terms inside the brackets integration 1 over square root the first term is now going to be 3 squared the next term is going to be minus x minus 3 everything squared complete the square root and write down the dx term 
All right. Now we know what kind of a substitution we need. Of course, it is a sine theta substitution, and that substitution is selected as x minus 3, which is the square root of the term right here, equals 3 times, where 3 is the square root of this term, 3 is squared, 3 times sine theta. Please note that we mentioned already that the substitution we need is some form of a sine theta. All right. And after that, we need to differentiate both sides. Then we get dx being equal to 3 cosine theta d theta. Now we can go ahead and use our substitution and evaluate this integral. This is equal to integrate 1 over square root. Inside of that, we have a 3 squared minus x minus 3 everything squared. We said x minus 3 is equal to 3 sine theta. So it's going to be 3 squared sine squared theta complete the square root and then we have a dx term outside that dx term is equal to 3 cosine theta d theta 3 cosine theta d theta all right now we can do the simplifications this is going to be equal to as you can see i can factor out a 3 squared term from inside of the square root it will get out of the square root as a first order 3 and that 3 will be cancelled with the 3 on the numerator. So let's go ahead and cancel those 3's. And do not forget that once that cancellation is done, we will have a 1 right here. And then you need to tell me what is 1 minus sine squared theta. 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta according to the Pythagorean identity from basic trig. And that term is found inside of the square root then it becomes a first order cosine theta term. Since that first order cosine theta term is in the denominator, we can cancel that off with the first order cosine theta term on the numerator. We have a 1 d theta. Integration of 1 is equal to theta. And there will be a plus c, where c is an arbitrary constant because this is an indefinite integral. However, theta is a variable that we introduced Therefore, we need to keep the original variable, which was x. We used the substitution that x minus 3 is equal to 3 sine theta. From that, we can subject theta. We have x minus 3 equals 3 sine theta. That means sine theta is equal to x minus 3 over 3. From that, we can subject theta as sine inverse x minus 3 over 3. 3. Therefore, the final answer becomes, this is equal to sine inverse x minus 3 over 3 plus c. Alright, that's a complete answer for this example. Now, if you would like to try a homework question, I would like to give you one. So, here's your homework problem. Evaluate the integral 1 over square root 32 minus 8x minus x squared dx. I would also like to give you a small hint. For this example also, your a equals negative 1, b equals negative 8, and c equals positive 32. So your a is very clearly negative. Now you need to look at delta. Your delta, which is b squared minus 4ac, is equal to b squared is negative 8, everything squared, which is a 64 minus 4, a is negative 1 times c is 32. Since that second term is also positive, if you simplify delta, we can see that it's also going to be positive. Therefore, for this example also, you will just need a sine theta substitution. But what the coefficient associated with sine theta? You have to correctly determine that after completing the square for this problem. Carefully complete the square, you can obtain the answer following the exact same set of steps discussed in this video. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.